Hi, I'm Nancy with Factory Direct Crafts, and today we're going to be making this really beautiful uh, serving tray, okay? And what you're going to need for this project is an unfinished wood tray that you can get at a craft store or somewhere. You can use um, wrapping paper, is what I used, and a paintbrush, and the hard coat Mod Podge, and this stain that we're going to, I'm going to give you the recipe for, and a ruler, and a pencil, and some gloves would be a good idea. Also, you're going to need some 400 very fine sandpaper. Okay, now I'll tell you the recipe for the stain. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to need a, you need a jar and some steel wool. And you can use just like half of this. You can cut it in half. And, and that goes in your jar. Then you'll use, oh, like a half a cup or so of used coffee grounds you put in your jar. And then also uh, vinegar. And you just fill it up about this full of vinegar. Okay? And then you need to set that overnight. And so because it has to set a while, I've got some already made here. Okay? So now you do that, let it set overnight, and now we're to the next step. We're going to put this on our wood tray. This tray here, you can see, I've already coated because it, it takes a number of coats. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you on this stick just how it looks when you do it. Okay? Um, part of this stick is done with one coat. I'm going to show you what the one coat, well, let's see. Actually, I want my steel wool. And let's see. And I'll tell you, when you make this, make it in a mouth, wide mouth jar. It's a lot easier than a small mouth jar to get your steel wool out. Okay. You just wipe it on with the steel wool that's in there. And as you can see, it's really light and you wonder if it's even going to work. But after it dries a little while, it really turns darker. And you're going to do at least two coats. And here you can see, look at how dark that is already with the two coats. But the one coat, it just looks like it's not even going to do anything. So just take your time, let it dry and do two coats, and it's going to be the color you want. It's going to be like this tray here that I have done, okay? So just be patient. And once that's dried, then you're going to take a, a cloth, and you need to wipe off all the extra coffee grounds, okay? Just wait till it's totally dry to worry about that. It's kind of fun stuff to play around with, okay? So here I'm going to wipe my coffee grounds out of my tray that's all dry. Okay? And wipe it all off everywhere. There we go. And now I'm going to measure my paper. And I found an easy way to do this. I have a big piece of paper, and I'm just going to trace around this on, on the outside of the tray. And if you do that, it gets it down to a manageable size, okay? So I did that with my paper already, and I put my paper underneath, got it down to the size of the bottom of the tray. Then what I'm going to do is measure that more exactly. So you measure the inside dimensions of your tray. And you know, these aren't always perfectly square. So measure um, the top and at the bottom, different directions. Make sure it's even or whatever you need to allow for, okay? And so I've already measured mine. And I drew the lines on the back. So now I'm going to cut that out so that it fits. You really want it to fit good. It can't be too big though. You don't want it too small. So that's why I say be really careful that you 
get that just right. All right, right. now. Once you get your paper just as perfect as you can get it, close as you can get it, then make sure this the bottom of that tray is really clean. And then you start painting on your Mod Podge stuff. And I'm putting it into the tray. Try not to get it up on the sides, but make sure you get to the edges really good. because you want it to be down really tight. Okay, once you finish putting all that uh, Mod Podge on, we're ready to put the paper on. Make sure your glue doesn't have any big, um, big too thick of spots or anything like that because it's going to be underneath this paper. And then very carefully put your paper down in here. Get it down real tight. And what we're going to do, we're going to use a pencil. And I'm going to just slide it around here all over this paper. Once you get that all smooth, and like I said, take your time and work at this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the, the Mod Podge over top of that again. And wait 20 minutes 